hope you're gonna have an awesome day today. Airverse here. Can you do me a favor? Hit that like and subscribe button. While you had it, push the bell for notifications all so you can get the scoop of my newest upcoming videos. Okay, this is gonna be recap and breakdown. So, season one, uh, season seven, episode one. Apologies. Well, the wave rider was destroyed, but another wave rider. I know, it was surprising. So, this is the wreckage of the aftermath of what happened to their wave rider. And let's just say the legends are not so happy about that. They have the time watch. They're about to leap onto the ship that actually destroyed their wave rider, but. The watch, the time watch is actually broken. The batteries technically need to be charged. So they're stuck in 1925 and they need a way out. And eventually they have multiple different plans. Then there's a pastor, a pastor approaches the farmhouse and he's asking suspicious questions and Spooner has shut the door on him. They know that there's going to be a lot of other people controversy and coming around the house asking around questions about what had happened. Gary has a bright idea. He says that, well, doesn't every single wave rider have a fail safe? Meaning they have a time watch inside that safe. So the legends, they split up in two different groups. And let's just say that Astra has a tracking spell and she tracks down where the safe is at. Believe it or not, the safe is actually at the sheriff's place, courtesy of the passer. Because the passer is a nosy body and he was searching around their property, which he shouldn't have. So, they have an idea. They want to cause a full-on distraction with the town and also get the safe back. So, they say, let's have a circus. It's in one of their rule, bur rule books as well. One of their agents. So they told Nate that, yeah, you're going to have to finesse the sheriff into getting the safe. So they're all ready inside the costumes. And so now they need a plate off and show it off in town saying that there's a huge circus going around. So they could stop on asking questions and telling the sheriff what they saw, like giant lizards and explosions that took out the lizards. They were saying it was actually Komodo dragons. So Nate is actually posing as Hoover. And so uh, Ava is also the secondary, posing as Hoover's secondary. They're trying to finesse their way to the sheriff, tell him that they're sweetening the pot. They're saying that we can help you out, promote you, I suppose, if you give us a safe, which he inevitably does. Uh, the sheriff doesn't really care about the safe at all. He just cares about people who keep on asking questions about the farmhouse. So a little girl asked Gary, so when is the circus? And Gary, well, his reply was, the circus is later on today. Yeah, the legends are so happy about that. They're not. So uh, once Ava and uh, Gary arrive with the safe, they open up the safe and yes. It turns out that there's nothing in it but the manual of the agency's guy. So they're going to follow the rules. Well, technically, Ava is going to follow the rules. And these rules are actually pretty decent. So the thing is that the sheriff was really sus of Nate being Hoover. Turns out that he wasn't Hoover. Now, Spooner is talking to her mother, saying that, yeah, I'm not going to have a circus around here. So as soon as they're, uh, I guess, practicing their routines, Astra, she has a plan of her own. So she tries to combine the, I suppose, the wreckage together and tries to transform the Wave Rider back to its normal form. But the power is so intense for her, uh, she can't really control it. So she faints and passes out. Then Hoover and his man actually arrive at the sheriff's station and let's just say that they explain what exactly happened and Hoover thinks it was the Midland Bandits posing as his identity. So Hoover goes over to Spooner's mother's house to canvas and look around uh, inside the rooms, but sorry, she uses um, Johnny's key that he gave her and it's a dimension, a uh, pocket dimension to I suppose uh, it's in the mixed reality of 
another dimension in hell. It's Johnny's safe zone where if he wants to be alone, he can. So Zari decides to be alone inside that place. Meanwhile, Hoover says that, all right, I'm going to search around the pop property. So yes, they put ladies. Gary sees that it's safe, so he tells the legends, all right, you guys better come out now. Let's make our move. So the legends are thinking like, uh, okay, we can't have a circus here, most definitely. And Ava said that there's a key, someone that could actually help us get out of here. So uh, as soon as Hoover is a uh, spectator around the property, as usual, bandits. Well, let's just say that Sarah and Ava said that, yes, we're going to pose as bandits and our key is in the city to get out of 1925. Spooner's going to stay here with Astra. And so the legends go along with it. They're going to say that, how about we rob a lot of stores on the way to New York so we can make a name for ourselves, basically. So that's what they did. Ava and Sarah, they robbed their first bank. Sarah is a master picket pocket. She pickpocketed a lot of those uh, townsfolk's guns. She hands two guns to Ava when she was pickpocketing them. It was actually pretty cool. It was safe for us. I had to rewatch it, rewind it, and see exactly how she actually did it. And it was amazing. It surprised me. So as soon as they got all weapons, they were able to steal $93. So a lady outside says, you guys are not the Midland Bandits. If you want to be Bandits, you're going to have to change the name. So B said, how about the Bullet Blondes? That has a good name to it, a good catch. So yeah, they're now the Bullet Blondes. And now that they robbed the store, they need $93 precisely to order travel to New York. So they're going to be robbing a lot of stores. But Hoover is on their trail. He's literally on their ass right now. He really wants to stop the legends. He thinks they're um, bandits. For some reason why he says you guys are the bullet blondes. I guess where it travels around town fast. So he tries to shoot Nate in the face. But yes, that did not work. The outcome was fatality. I guess you could say yes. Hoover is now dead. That really erupted a huge crop in the timeline, basically, I could say that. Now, the thing is that since he erupted the timeline, Ava said that there are no witnesses around, which is good. So they want Gary to take off his glasses and eat the body, make the body disappear. They don't want to throw it inside a lake or bury it. They just want him to eat it, basically. So Astra accidentally cast a spell that brings back Gideon to life as a human, which is awesome. I love it. All right. So then that's, uh, well, season seven, episode two is a foot. It's coming out next week. Can't wait for that. Oh my goodness. It's going to be so awesome. There's going to be some characters, unbelievable characters in it. Can't wait to talk about this. Are you guys ready? It's time for the breakdown. Let's dive right into it, shall we? So first off, Nate is just out of his mind. He's panicking. He's saying to the legends, do you even understand what I did? I killed one of the most important person in 1925, Hoover. And Hoover is now dead because of me. Ava, the rest of the legends are saying we really need to get out of here. And we know it wasn't really your fault. Especially Sarah. Sarah's trying to tell him that. Every middle man always has a mistake, well, always makes a mistake. Now, as soon as they're on the train, that's when the fun happens. So basically, um, Nate, I think Nate is actually, well, he has to pose as Hoover. Most likely he might have to. Uh, then again, he does run into some nasty Disney business, which means Nate actually gets captured, kidnapped. And he's posing as someone else, meaning he has to act like them, most likely. And believe it or not, he's captured by Al Capone. I know, it's crazy, insane, it's awesome, I love it. So, who knows, maybe he has to portray the role as Hoover-like. Or maybe even as one of Al Capone's thugs, maybe. You never know, that could happen, a gangster he might be. 
other than that, I can't wait to find out what happens. And yes, we see like there's a lot of armed men, and I'm pretty sure this is Al Capone's gang. Sarah is about to hit someone with the bourbon bottle, or is that whiskey? It might be whiskey, possibly. Yeah, I think it's whiskey. And yes, uh, Ava and B are, well, I could say they're kind of surprised of what's going on. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel as always. And yes, I will see you all in the next video, of course.